Good to see How you. How are you doing? I'm great. Good? So thrilled that you're here. Yes. Uh -huh. Alhamdulillah. Me too. Life is good. <laughs> Life is good. <laughs> so am I going to sit over there? Yes, yes, you are. All right. Just watch your step there. Larger You're rolling, Jim? I'm rolling. Right. Uh, I'm ready. Rolling. Okay. Mr. Baxter, it's always a pleasure for us having you on Al Haradi. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh yeah, sure. Come I want to interview you now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So Tafik, uh, wonderful to have you here again, and congratulations on having the number one rated show on Al Hura. It's a great accomplishment. I was thrilled to be on it again. But look, y you grew up in the Middle East. You're from Lebanon. You speak beautiful Arabic as well as English. What do you think about these new international domain names and extensions in Arabic? I mean, what does it really mean for the people in, in, in the Middle East and the Arabs? Uh, what I think it's a fantastic idea at the beginning. And from my personal uh, small feedback, let's say, on uh, Facebook, on the iTech show Facebook. When I put anything related to that, to the IDN, to that I met you, I'm going to meet you about talking about domains in Arabic, the, the, the feedback is great. Everybody's asking, when is it going to happen? How is it going to happen? What going I use? All these questions. Mm -hmm. This is on, on the small scale feedback, but I think more than I expected, because I live in the States, I'm used to the, using the uh, Latin letters, I never felt the real need to ha to write in Arabic uh, as domain names, for sure. Uh, but uh, back in the Middle East, people are really very happy doing that because they use the Arabic a lot. They use key, uh, Arabic keyboard. They type in Arabic all their lives. Some people, they don't, they're not really interested uh, by using the English stuff for their local businesses. And it's, uh, it's fantastic. Okay. That's great. So, how do, and I'm curious, how do they change the key? How do you switch keyboard modes if you're using ah, your okay. keyboard in Arabic? How do you switch it over to Latin characters and back? How this is this is I do like on a daily basis when I'm typing in between Arabic and English. You you should uh, put Alt Shift, mm -hmm. and it uh, it switches from English to Arabic by itself. Every time you're gonna write in Arabic, I put Alt Shift. Okay. And back in English, you're going to alt shift I'll again, shift. It, it, it comes in English. And you set up your windows uh, for sure, like English, Arabic, or maybe other languages like Chinese or uh, Russian. Mm -hmm. They have other uh, switches. But the alt shift on the keyboard helps to change or to switch from English to Arabic. Sure, which means four, four extra keystrokes <coughs> and mm -hmm. two to go in and two to go out every time exactly. to change languages. So that's four wasted keystrokes and, and a significant <laughs> inconvenience, right? I think yeah. of how many billions of times a day people might be doing yeah, they do it right. a lot. <laughs> but, uh, my question is, I'm wondering how it's going to be when we not, because you know, Arabic, we write from right to left, English yes. from left to right. Mm -hmm. uh, typing the domain names from left to right, like HTTP or WW, it's going to be on the top of the browser, like from left to right. Mm -hmm. uh, writing from right to left, or this is, a not, and we're not sure maybe about it yet, it's the browser going to be able to write from right to left? Windows going to work on that? Or are we going to write from right to left on the left? Yeah. I don't know if you get the idea. Yes, yeah, so I get the idea. And it's actually, that's going to depend on, on the implementation of the browser software makers. So mm -hmm. I'm not sure exactly what their plans are. I know part of what we're doing is giving them an education on IDNs, the fact this program's rolling out, and asking them to look at upgrading their software in, in different ways. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's, that's an enhancement at what we call the application or software layer. Because yeah. logically, you could do it either way. But I would think if you're writing in your language that's right to left, that's how you would want to write. So Absolutely. we'll need to check with the, the browser makers and see what their plans are for supporting that. Yeah, I think we're ex everybody excited to know the details. Many questions now we can ask, but we should maybe be a bit patient to know uh, by time how things are going to so go. So you're an important international journalist here in, uh, in technology in the Arabic world. I encourage you to invite the browser makers onto your show Absolutely. and ask them, should. ask yeah. them what their plans yeah. are and bring the awareness, you know, and say, you know, we've got 500 million people in the world that's, that speak Arabic and this is important. What are your plans, you know? So I think you should go and ask Firefox, Absolutely. Microsoft, mm -hmm. Apple, uh, and the other players what they've got planned for their browsers. That would be a great thing you could do to contribute. I will, I will definitely do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you very really much. It's a pleasure. Thanks. Yeah.